A third shot from one of America's top vaccine makers may boost protection against the Delta variant. New data was released this morning and Tarek Miner is joining us now to tell us which vaccine could provide extra protection and what health experts are saying about it. Tarek? Well, vaccine maker Pfizer BioNTech posted this data online writing that people ages 18 to 55 who received a third dose of the Pfizer vaccine have increased antibody levels. It is important to point out while this data sounds promising, a third shot is not being recommended by the CDC or the FDA. According to new data released by Pfizer BioNTech this morning, a booster shot of the Pfizer vaccine can provide additional strong protection against the Delta variant. The data, which was posted online this morning, suggests that people between the ages of 18 to 55 have antibody levels five times higher than those who only received two shots. For the older age group, 65 to 85, the Pfizer data suggests antibody levels in this group increase 11-fold if they receive a third shot. Dr. Anthony Fauci says the third shot could be most beneficial for people with suppressed immune systems. Namely, people who have suppressed immune system, those who are transplant patients, cancer chemotherapy, autoimmune diseases that are on immunosuppressive regimens, those are the kind of individuals that if there's going to be a third boost, which might likely happen, will be among first the vulnerable. Fauci says the Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices talked about this prospect in a recent meeting and are looking at data that might push the United States in that direction. But not so fast, says Surgeon General Vivek Murthy, who warns Americans not to put the cart before the horse. At this point, I want to be very clear, people do not need to go out and get a booster shot. The decision about boosters will not be made by an individual company. It will be made by the CDC and by the FDA in particular, looking at the whole breadth of data that will come from companies, that will come from cohorts that the CDC is now following where they're tracking whether or not there is any waning in immunity or increase in breakthrough rates. Representatives of Pfizer have met privately with senior United States scientists and regulators to press them for more evidence of this increased immunity. So Pfizer is still gathering data through additional research and also gathering data from Israel.